hi ladies welcome back to my channel so today is a video request from the lovely ella and she asked me to do a video on my favorite so that's what we're going to be speaking about today now i have never done a video like this before on my channel and you guys have been asking me continuously since i started my channel to do more videos relating to favorites fashion story times so that's what i'm going to start implementing more onto my channel as well as the dating stuff so basically you're going to get everything that you want okay i've given in to you guys okay so we're going to get into this favorites video if anybody's interested this top is from zara and this skirt <laughs> is from femlux so if anybody's interested that's where all of this is from if you guys can hear traffic and everything i really do apologize i i have moved and i'm right next to your carriageway i still haven't got a microphone and i will be doing that i just don't know which one to purchase so um bear with me and let's get into the video this is my first favorite now this is pen Halligan's changing constants and i have spoken to you about this perfume umpteen times it is everything it's just everything okay so if you're looking for a perfume that goes a long way you spray a couple of sprays and everybody can smell you coming then this is the type of perfume to go for. I would say that out of all of the perfumes that Pen Halligans have, this one is my favorite because the scent is like nothing I've ever smelled before. It is sweet and spicy at the same time. It's perfect for winter, autumn, but to be honest, you could wear it in any season, but it's perfect for autumn and it's perfect for winter because it's kind of, it's kind of heavy, mysterious and seductive. That's the best way that I can describe this. Oh my gosh, I just love this smell so much. So if you're going on a date, I would suggest that this is the type of perfume that you wear because it just does everything that you want it to do. I have worn this perfume so many, I this is like my daily perfume, to be honest, right now I wear this all the time and I go through so many bottles and I always get compliments when I'm wearing this from men, from women, it's a conversation starter. So if I were you, I would smell this, obviously scents are subjective, but I think that you guys should smell this and see what you think about it. And it is a bit on the pricey side. So this is about 200 pounds, but it is worth it in my opinion. So yeah, Pen Halligans, Changing Constants, so my next favorite is from kate spade and it's this cute top handle handbag now this is a medium sized handbag of hers and i love this bag so i wanted like a really pretty everyday handbag that could also kind of go into evening if i wanted it to and i feel like this does that completely so this handbag has the spades on it with the gold detail so it gives it some more oomph and some color in there the only thing about this bag is that it doesn't have a zip to close the entire bag so you have like different compartments so there's a compartment there for like your card or whatever and there's a compartment here so i use this middle compartment with the zip it has a zip there i use that one for my phone my keys that's what i use this compartment for and then there's another compartment down there just have like my headphones a mask and stuff in there and a tampon <laughs> But anyway, and inside is really, really soft suede. So it just feels nice when you put your hand in to take out your, you know, your phone or your perfume or whatever. It just feels nice and luxurious, you know. When you put your hand in, you don't want it to be rough or just feel uncomfortable. You want to feel like you have nice, nice things. And this bag really does make me feel like that. So yeah, I love this bag. I think it's so pretty and that's it at the back 
and it kind of has like this detail at the back and it also says Kate Spade here so I love this bag I think it's perfect it did come with a strap but I never wear it like that I always hold my handbags down um, or I have them on my arm like that so love this bag so pretty so my next favorite is also from Pen Halligand and this is something that is perfect for every woman especially if like you're going out on a date so it is this refillable travel size perfume spray so in pen halogons i purchased this with my last purchase of changing constants i purchased this as well now this is 40 pounds no 25 pounds i paid for this so if you're using like a really tiny mini handbag and you're out on a date you're not going to put a huge perfume bottle in there 100 milliliter bottle even 75 because it's awkward and it probably won't actually fit so this is the perfect size and what pen halogons actually do is if you buy this travel spray or they have a few others they had a really cute pink one as well but i went for the black and gold because i love black and gold if you buy this then they also fill it up for you with any perfume of your choice so it's really simple to fill up so you basically just put this nozzle into the bottom of here so you like unscrew it you put the nozzle in and then you literally have to spray 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 but it doesn't take more than about three minutes honestly to refill this so i think it's worth it for you guys to have something small like this to put into your bag so my next favorite of 2019 and really this one has been winter is a pair of knee length boots it's these knee length boots and again black <laughs> with gold accent on them these are like everyday boots for me and i've been loving these so 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 much okay so for you ladies who are very petite like i am this is perfect because you get the height without being without looking too overly done because this looks like an everyday boot but it still gives you the height and it still makes you look well put together and you look like you've put probably more effort in than you have you've literally just slid these boots up your leg and you look more well presented you know they have quite a large platform so you don't feel as though they are as high as they are because the platform is so large i think this platform is at least an inch and a half maybe and then the boot here is probably i don't know four inches maybe so you feel like you're only wearing something that's about three and a half or three inches or something it really does not feel high at all you can walk very fast in them um you can just do whatever i actually need to get them rehealed. so i think i'll do that over the christmas period but i have been wearing these out also the bottom is really really good on these boots because they have amazing grip as you can see so even though you have the height you don't feel like you are at risk honey because you don't feel like you're about to slip over you feel very very secure because they do have great grip on the bottom and i love that the buckle is gold because it just creates some um you know something different to the boot as if it didn't have this it would just be a plain black boot but with the gold belt the gold buckle sorry it just gives it something je ne sais quoi okay so loving these loving these loving these the only thing that's annoying is that the calf area this part is actually very wide so i feel like it's way too big for my leg so when i wear these i always wear like my trench coat with it or something longer that will cover the top part because it's way too big for my leg um maybe i can get these altered i haven't gone to i haven't asked but when i get them rehealed i'll see if they can alter them as well i'll see what they can do but yeah i purchased these from 
I purchased these from Debenhams, but they are by the brand called Faith. If they're still online, I will link them, so make sure that you check the description box out below. My next favourite is an item of clothing, and I want to show you guys this because I absolutely adore this type. I adore mini skirts. I think that they are just the best thing ever. They're like my favourite thing, and they are literally my staple, but it's this. And you might see it right here and be like, that is not even all that this mini skirt brings life to winter okay because most people are walking around here they're wearing black they're wearing brown they're wearing dark green they're wearing you know or they're going for the um the tan color look but most people are not wearing color so for me to find this mini skirt that is kind of like um not a quilted fabric i can't think of what this fabric is right now but it's kind of like it's kind of like a jumper ish I, I i don't know i can't think of the um the fabric right now but to have a suitable mini skirt for winter because of the fabric and to also have it be pink but also incorporate winter and autumn with like the browns that you have in here also the blacks like I just think this is amazing and it brings um, an outfit like to life, especially if you're wearing this mini skirt with a pair of 15 denier tights. So they are thin tights. You're wearing a black polar neck or you could even be wearing like a tan color polar neck um, or a white one. I would typically wear like a white or off white top with this or a black top. That's personally what I do. Like. It's just everything. It's actually it's actually everything. Maybe some pink eyeshadow, like a subtle pink eyeshadow, and maybe a pink nude looking lip. And it just it just brings some warmth to winter to your winter outfit. This was from Miss Selfridge and this is in the petite section. I did buy this a few months ago. Um, I will see if they still have it on their website and if they do I'll put it in the description box below. My last favourites are these two nail varnishes and they are both by Rimmel London. So this pink pearl colour I am actually wearing right now. This colour is so pretty and you ladies have been asking me what I'm wearing on my nails every time you see me wearing this. So it's this pearl nail varnish that just it it's subtle but it's still very pretty and it still has color there but it's not as vibrant as like a hot pink so it kind of looks a bit more a bit more natural but you but it's still pink if that makes sense so if you're like rushing but you still want to change your nail color then this is a good nail varnish because it really does dry quite quickly it's in the shade ethereal this nail varnish has been my ride or die for years okay for years and like a red nail varnish is my go-to it's the type of thing that you will see me wearing most often and you ladies have probably realized that like i'm probably going to have red nail varnish so this one is in the shade double decker red because obviously it's rimmel london and double decker buses are bright red so um this is the 60 seconds super shine and <laughs> I don't know why it's called 60 second super shine because this stuff like you need to give it at least an hour and a half to actually dry because if you're doing two coats plus a top coat like a clear top coat you actually need to give this nail varnish about literally an hour and a half the pink ethereal one needs about 30 minutes so it's a thicker consistency um so it's a thicker consistency but it also is very vibrant and that an hour and a half is worth it for your nails to dry and be this really pretty bright red so if you're going on a date and it's a first date and you're looking to you know really put your 
like your sexiest foot forward i would have my nails painted red and this is the red that i would typically well this is the only red that i use this is the only place that i buy reds from and i just absolutely love it so um yeah so that's the end of my favorites video thank you guys so much for watching if you liked anything then check the description box because i'll be filling stuff out in there and also comment below what your top number one favorite has been of 2020 it can be a skincare product it can be a hair product a beauty product or even a an item like a clothing item comment below and let's have you know combo down there and stuff and with that being said honey i'm going to love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next video